hello everyone welcome to quick code academy so today in this vi video we are going to see the use case of symbol data type as you all aware that symbol is newly introduced data type in es6 which produces anonymous and unique value and here is how you can uh, create the symbol uh, here i have created one symbol as let my symbol equal to a uh, simple uh, with opening and closing uh, round bracket so here uh, we are not uh, going to look the uh, syntax uh, we will go to the uh, use case first so first we will check how the output of this looks so i'm just uh, consoling the my symbol variable over here as you can see on the console it uh, prints as a symbol only so if we want to give any description to this symbol then maybe uh, we can give uh, the description in this uh, string uh, format but i know you are not here for uh, this uh, syntax you want to know uh, actual use case of the uh, symbol so whenever we if we want to hide any key of the object so at that time we can make use of a uh, symbol because uh, sometime we want that particular key in our object but we don't want to uh, change that or show that or overwrite that so i will just uh, show you show you with example what i mean by that so here i'm creating one empty object employee and now i am uh, giving keys to that let's say the employee has name as john and then the employee has h as 53 and here i also want to give the email uh, to the employee but i don't want to uh, show uh, that email key okay whether that exist or, or not so for that what i can do i can create one let email variable over here and here i will say it is small and while giving the key for email i will give something like this one employee email which is equal to whatever test at the rate test dot com so here now you will see the magic so whenever we uh, print object of keys that time it prints all the keys of the uh, of that particular object but what happens if i console it over here so i'm just consoling the object dot keys of which object that is employee so here now you will able to see the magic so here currently we have three keys right name age and email but we are not getting that okay so th that is why because that is that particular key is hidden so if you want to hide any key and unique value uh, which is assigned to any key and we don't want in our program to uh, to be overwritten by anything so at that time we can make use of this uh, s symbol data type so uh, let's check whether we can see this key in foreign loop or not so here i'm consoling the key so for uh, those who don't know uh, foreign loop we use for uh, printing the keys of the object and here the object name is employee so we will give that name and here i will try to print the key so here also you can see right we have three keys over here but still only two keys are vi uh, visible so if we don't want our one of the key to be executed in the uh, program code so at that time we can make use of this symbol method so now if you want to uh, see the email 
so there is only one way you can see that that is employee the way how we assign the value to this in that similar way we can check the value of the email and let's also check how so here you can see the email and let's check how this email object looks like so here I'm removing this part and here I'm only printing the employee so here you can see right there is name age and the third key is not email it's just a symbol okay so that's all uh, regarding this use case of uh, symbol I hope you like this video make sure to hit like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thank you